Hi guys, welcome back. This is Carolyn. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing video. So Actual has gifted me some of their lovely art materials and I'm very happy to do some review on them today. And they have sent me three of these items. So we'll go through each of them and let's get into it. So I've received three of these items. Let's look at them each. And here, this one I received is an Etcher Mini Palette. I really like their simple design with their orange llama logo. And this palette is designed by Stephanie Law. And inside, there's a very nice, sleek, thin box. And here we have the 19 Well palette. And I think the second one here is the mixing palette. This one has seven wells. And this one has 19. So I think they have the another size which comes in 37 wells. So I chose this 19 wells because I don't really use a lot of colors and 19 is more than enough for me. And what's so special about this palette is that they are designed for travel size. It's really small, about the size of my palm, and portable, really compact to carry a lot around, especially if you are the type of person who like to do a lot of outdoor sketching or plein air. This is the perfect size to carry. And then each of these wells is about 3 inch. Uh, about 6 mm deep. So next, let's try to fill in with some paints. And I'll just fill this one here. So I think this one is maybe about half pen size. And I'm able to squeeze quite a lot of paints into it. So what I really like about porcelain palette is that they are really easy to use. I have a few porcelain plates myself because they are really nice to mix in. And you can see that the paints, they tend to pull in the corner there which makes it really easy to pick it up. And here I have this plastic palette with me and you can see when paint is applied, it spreads out. It doesn't pull together like it does in this palette here. So this makes it easier to pick up paints as compared to using a plastic palette. And another advantage that porcelain palette has is that whatever color that we mix will represent its true color, the actual color that we see when it's applied on paper as compared to using a plastic palette. So this one, I've been using it for almost three to four years and you can see over time it has turned yellow. And from the areas here, you can see that it has also stained from my old paints. And whatever paint that has been applied here, if you are looking to mix a certain color, it doesn't really represent the true color that you see as when you apply it on paper. But for porcelain, it does represent its true color. And another advantage of using porcelain palette, I guess, is it's really easy to wash out the paints and it lasts very long, I would say almost forever, because it's very easy to maintain. It doesn't change color like a, a plastic palette does. So let's just wipe this off. And you can see that with only a few wipes, it is all clean with no stains or leftover paints. It comes off really easily. And as compared to my plastic palette, you can see that there's stains left over on the palette. So yeah. And the only thing 
about having porcelain palettes is that it can be a little heavier as compared to plastic palette. This one is about 6 ounces for each of this palette. And also it will be fragile so we need to handle with care. But otherwise this is not an issue for me because it's quite small and most importantly compact. They are easy to carry around when I like to go out and do my outdoor sketching. So this is a very useful palette for me. And on top of that, because this palette is really small, this one I'm using here is a size 8 brush. I can easily pick up my paints from these wells. And then just apply them. And you can see that the colour on the palette matches the colour on the paper. And I would say this is more suitable for those who do smaller painting areas. Like maybe this one, this is about A5 size. For me, usually I would do larger painting areas from A4 up to size A2. So let's try with a bigger brush. This one is size 12 and you can see that the brush is bigger than the well and I have to be and I'll have to gently pick up the colors and the mixing area is not enough for me so I'll need a larger mixing palette. So this is more suitable for painting with a smaller brushes or for those who paint detailing and mini size painting, this would be suitable. But otherwise for me, I really like the design of this palette because I do a lot of outdoor painting and this is designed to be very compact. I don't think weight is much of an issue, it doesn't really weigh a lot. So yeah, I really like this and the fact that they provided an extra palette for mixing because I usually struggle with finding areas to mix my paints so this is a good solution and yeah, all you have to do is just stack it up and then it comes with a really nice tin box and you're ready to go. The next here is Etch's Brushes Pack and it comes in a black roll-out pouch. I really like this design here, it's very minimal and simple. And then they come, it comes with a strap where you can tie it around. And in this pouch, it comes with a flap to protect your brushes and here we have a set of 10 brushes it comes with 10 slots and in this pouch it has six round brushes and they come in size 1, size 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12 and then we have two flat brush this one is in size, half size and a quarter size. And then this one is an angled brush with size 3 8 and a fan brush size 1. So these are all synthetic brushes and I'm really impressed that Etcher has designed these to be vegan friendly as well. And I'll probably do a review of, on these brushes in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. And finally, the one that I've been waiting for the most, this is Etcher's Perfect Sketchbook. And they packed it really nicely. This is the perfect sketchbook and I've chosen it in size A4 
It's 29 by 21 cm in landscape format and it has artist grade paper, 100% cotton watercolor paper, 300 GSM cold press archival grade and it comes with an expandable inner pocket, that's sweet. PU cover with 44 pages and then it has this painting done by Irvin Lian. I think he's a Singaporean artist and I, I really like how this is so let's see what it looks and these are all the pages and at the back I think this is the inner expandable pocket useful to put things especially when we paint outdoors and it comes with a brochure about the details of the sketchbook very neat and I'd just like to make a comparison with the previous sketchbook that I've been using if you've been following me on Instagram you would have seen me painting a few of my paintings on this sketchbook sketchbooks here this one is from Hane Mule uh, size A5 so this is actually my first large size sketchbook. I'm really excited to use this. Um, this one is half the size and the papers included here are not 100% cotton. I'm not sure what the percentage is and this one, it is not 300 GSM. This is about, I think, maybe 120 to about 200 GSM, which is why it doesn't hold color so well and you can see that it buckles quite a lot you can see uh, after I've painted it buckles quite a bit but I am thinking that with a higher weight of 300 it wouldn't buckle that much so today I will paint on my very first page on this sketchbook to test out how the paper feels So I'm going to just paint some roses in the garden and get a feel of this paper. See that I've pre wet this area and it stays nice and wet for a long time, which allows me to do my wet on wet on this area. And so far, I am really enjoying this paper.
So as you can see, I got a little carried away while painting this. But I really had fun painting this whole piece here on this paper. And as you can see, it allows me to do lots of wet on wet technique where certain areas, I pre-wet the area with water and I'm able to go in to achieve some of these lovely effects. And it also allows me, most importantly, is having these dry brush strokes. This dry brush strokes give a really nice effect and contrast to the whole piece. And I'm not able to achieve this kind of effect with my previous sketchbook because the paper is not as rough textured as this, I guess. So I really love that it's able to allow me with this dry brush. And overall, the paper holds a good amount of water, but I have yet to try on with heavier washes up to two or three layers. But yeah, I will explore and let you know what I think. And thank you so much, Etcher, for sending all the materials over. I am loving this sketchbook especially, and I can't wait to paint more on this book. And if you'd like to see more of my future paintings, do follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, do like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!